Hey everyone, John here from Four Brewers and I'm back with another beer from my cellar. Today we are going to the Northwest, to Deschutes to be exact, and we are drinking their Black Butte 23, their anniversary ale from 2011. This is a porter that is aged in bourbon barrels, 25% of it anyway, aged in bourbon barrels, and it's made with cacao nibs, orange, zest, and uh, other natural flavors. And I thought they got a little bit more into it here. Um, cocoa nibs, uh, Spanish oranges, and chilies. So I guess it's gonna be orangey, and bourbony, and chocolatey, and spicy. So uh, let's open it up and see what it's like. This one has wax on it, so I've got to use my opener. The little, they have little, um, I don't know if you can see that, little teeth on there you can use to cut wax. The struggle is real. Okay. Jeez, I made a mess. Now, typically with Deschutes, they put best after dates on, I'm not sure if it's, all of their bottles, but um, the ones that they want you to sell her, they put a best after date. I don't necessarily agree with this because if I wanna buy a beer off the shelf and sell it, I should be able to do that or drink it off the shelf and it should be ready to drink. Don't give me a date on the side of the bottle that says drink after. I know Stone has been doing this with their Enjoy After beers and that's kind of a play on the Enjoy Buy series of beers, their IPAs, and they made those Enjoy Buy beers to prove a point. You wanna drink IPA fresh. And they thought, well, let's do an enjoy after beer because they're gonna bottle condition it with Britannomyces. Typically, you'd wanna enjoy that after the beer bottle conditions with the Britannomyces so you get the full character of the beer. Um, in this case, I would rather they just put it on the shelf when it's ready to drink instead of doing an, an enjoy after date. So that's my rant, let's drink it. So right off the bat, I get some chocolate on it. It's got a lot of booze on the nose too. This is room temperature, by the way. A little bit of oxidation on there. Um, I guess I do get a little bit of the orange zest, but it's not much. It's mostly booze, chocolate, roastiness. It's kind of a uh, one dimensional for me. I don't know. It smells rich. It smells like it's gonna be a, a thick beer. But yeah, it's, it's boozy. So let's see what it tastes like. It's not as boozy as it smells. It's got a nice carbonation. It is a porter, so I might be expecting too much from the mouthfeel, but um, it's a tad thin. It's got some heat on it. Um, I'm not getting any chili character on it. If I mean, I'm not sure how big of an impact those should be having, but I'm not getting hardly any of it. Yeah, overall, it's not a bad beer. It's just not, it's not really noteworthy. Yeah, I really don't have anything much to say about it. It's, it tastes fine. Um, it's somewhat interesting. It's easy to drink. It's a little boozy, but uh, overall it's, it's just okay. It's not like it's a meh beer or anything like that. It's okay. Um, it held up pretty well in the cellar. I didn't have it fresh because Deschutes told me to not have it fresh. They told me to wait until after, um, June 15th, 2012, since this came out in 2011. Um, so it just sat in my cellar since the day I bought it. Um, but it's okay, you know, but there's not really much to say about it. It's, there's not a lot of chocolate. There's not a lot of orange character and it, I don't know, it's, it's all right. The booziness kind of throws me off a lot though. That's something I'm really not digging. So, uh, but overall, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. So that's one less beer in my cellar.